right guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Haven't vlogged in a minute. Didn't vlog my Vegas trip or anything. I just, I, guys, I've really been struggling, but I feel really good this week. I just feel like I was so out of my routine that I just wasn't interested and I've been struggling in school. I struggled with my like work-life balance. So I just kind of hit a wall again. I kind of explained this in the vlog that you guys will see before this, but yeah, sorry that it was delayed again. Hopefully we're back. I'm feeling really good. I got my grade up. Got a 92 on my last HESI. My grades, we're good. We're good, we're passing. We're gonna pass the quarter, so that's all that matters. I'm in a lot better mood now. Um, but yeah, I have class in like half an hour, so I'm gonna drive down to Denver, because that's like how long it takes to get from where we're at. Um, and then I think I'm gonna pick up some Starbucks, because I'm literally craving it. I wanted matcha so bad. I've never tried matcha. But today I'm finally gonna do it and I think I'm gonna get like a turkey pesto sandwich or something because I am hungry and we have no groceries and we can't go till tomorrow because just there's too much going on right now. But yeah, welcome to the channel. We're gonna go to class from one to four and then I will see you guys after. Okay, I'm home from class. I know that I rushed the start of this video. I'm very sorry. I felt like I had something I wanted to share with you guys, but I can't necessarily remember. But yeah, I got home, got stuck in some really crappy traffic. Um, I just finished um, all of our sheets and stuff because I ran all that when we left. It's five right now. Tay's coming over around like 6.30ish so that we can make our board and get ready for this new season of The Bachelorette. Um, I really liked Katie, so I'm really excited and interested to see what the season will go. I only watched, um, a little bit of last season, but I started watching, like, the episode when Katie went home, basically, or maybe one before that. So, I'm excited. It's actually been fun now that Taylor and I make a thing out of it. I feel like if it was just up to me, I would never just watch it by myself, so it's fun that Tay and I have made it, like, a little girl's night, an excuse to hang out and enjoy each other's company. Um obviously i can never get enough tay time but i don't know i was gonna study but i don't have to because i don't have a quiz to take and i'm like if you're smart you should still study but like i just was in class from one to four like i'm a little burnt out today monday nights are just so chill for me homework wise but i think that if anything i think i'm gonna go put on harry potter and chill and just take a break chug some water because i feel like i'm getting a little bit of a headache behind my eyes um and then yeah we'll just go from there i don't think i'm going to be doing much school tonight i'm so happy i actually ended up making the executive decision to come sit outside on our patio and i'm so glad i did i'm not gonna sit and sulk in harry potter even though i'm having anxiety but instead i'm gonna sulk in the beauty around me and I really hope it rains. Look how cute this is. Are you cute? You love sitting with mommy out here? You like it on the patio? Anyways, yeah, thought this would be better. I'm really hoping it rains out here. It'd be like such a perfect vibe. If just like some rain on the patio. Love it. But yeah, I'm gonna sit out here, edit this video, send it in, and hopefully get it posted for you guys like by the end of today or hopefully tomorrow. It depends on how the approval, how fast it comes in for the vitamins I'm sharing. Again, it's my U vitamins. I'm obsessed with them. I take them every single day. And one of them, evening and night, and the other one, and then the other two at night. I think there's a better way to say that, but you guys got that, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, I will always have that link down below in my videos if you guys are always interested in checking those out. Um, obviously, not in this video I mentioned, like, talk to your doctor, do whatever you want to do to make sure that... You can take these um, without any adverse effects with other medications or anything they may be taking, but yeah. I really like this company and I really like their ingredients and yeah.
Okay, so Taylor just left. We watched The Bachelorette. It's insane, but now that she's gone, it's like a little past nine now, um, and I'm going to get in bed with Josh, and I'm going to use my Peppy Cove um, LED light mask. I talked about this in my nighttime routine. I try and do it Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but I've been out of town, so last week I missed it again, and then I forgot to do it when I was back because I was just so out of routine. But I'm gonna do this tonight. Um, I might only do the blue or yellow light, or maybe all three, depending on how comfortable I get. But I'm gonna wash my face and do this. Um, also, if you guys are interested, I'll put that video in a card up here if you wanna go see me use it. And then I'll also link everything down below. I have a code for $70 off, I believe. So I will have all that linked down below. But yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the morning. Happy Wednesday. I didn't vlog yesterday. I made a TikTok. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I was thinking about doing something like TikTok Tuesdays. I don't know. We'll see how I need to put it all together and see if I can even create TikToks. I feel like at 25, I feel like I missed missed the mark there, but um, yeah. Anyways, it's Wednesday. I am vlogging today and the rest of the week, but we just went to Costco. It's 12.47. We had like a really slow start to our morning. Um, again, we have no food in the house or anything, so we went to Costco. We still need to go to Target and Sprouts and Trader Joe's. Um, life of um, no stores having all the products you need and can eat in one place. It's fine. But my outfit, guys, I'm loving this. I got these pants specifically for like little like grocery morning shops. I'm wearing this tank top, which is from Zara. My Princess Polly necklace, my 1995 necklace from Amazon, my J1 from Etsy. And then I'm wearing these barrel pants. I don't know if I can go higher. Can you guys see that? Oh wait, why don't I just step back? I'm wearing these barrel pants from um, Princess Polly and they're in from my spring haul. And then I'm wearing them with these Princess Polly um, sandal things. And you guys, so cute. I thought it was really fun. I have a code coming that should be valid soon. Stay tuned for my Princess Polly haul because I have one a summer one coming and I'm excited to share that code and those products with you guys. So yeah, that is the fit. From Costco, we got really basic stuff, some snack stuff. We got these because these are so fun for the summer and we liked roasting them in our fire pit when we ran it um, two summers ago now. So we got those, I think those are really cool. We got two things of bananas. Josh got his little cereal. We got mangoes. Um, I don't know if you guys are new or not, but last year Josh and I did it like Every week we'd go buy new fruits and they usually lasted like one to two weeks and we'd get two different fruits and then mix them and then I'd have like a bowl of fruit every morning. So the fruits for this, this week are um, mangoes and then we got a fresh pineapple which I'm excited about because I love pineapple and I feel like I want to eat it more. Then we got the bananas. These ones when they go ripe are going in the freezer for smoothies and then these ones we're hoping to fill as we use these. Josh got himself some ices. I mean, this is really cool, but we got this like summer wine, like it's surprise wine, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. So we got that. We got tortilla chips. We love these. We got a giant thing of pink Himalayan salt because we've been out forever and no place has them that doesn't include like a whole new shaker thingy. So we don't want that. And then nothing as a home right now. I have to completely reorganize the fridge. But we got a thing of eggs and then we got some shrimp cocktail stuff to snack on. We love this stuff. Josh got some mushrooms. We got this pasta we wanna try. It has gluten, dairy, all the bad stuff in it, but it looked so good, so we were like, let's just try it. Some of those last minute meals, I don't have a choice but to eat, and we're excited. So we got some mushrooms for a different meal that Josh is thinking about making. Then we got, oops. Then we got some chicken breast tenderloin, some bacon. I think that's it. And now we still have to go to the other places. It's almost one, so we're gonna go do that and hopefully hurry so that we can have the rest of the day i have like homework and stuff to do so yeah all right we're home and we got a little bit more than i can even make in one haul so 
not gonna give you guys a haul, just know that it's a little bit of everything because we were literally out of everything. Okay, groceries are all unpacked and it is now 326 and we are about to go to the pool and take my apple watch off i guess it's waterproof huh it still freaks me out um so yeah we're gonna go to the pool now we're gonna bring some wine some water we're only gonna stay down there for a couple hours and then we're gonna come up and make dinner also this is my nurse life shirt that i got from just cute finds i've been leaving her stuff all down below she has this stuff and stickers and they're all so cute Okay, so it's been a minute, but I just spent the last couple hours, I guess it's been quite a while actually, it's nine. It's nine? I've been out there for a minute doing that. I was like, I was just looking. Oh man. Anyways, we ate dinner. I have some Green Chef meals that we're trying out this week that I wanted to share with you guys, but tonight was our first one, so we wanted to try it. It was delicious, so I'm so excited to share everything about them um, in tomorrow's vlog. But we ate that and then we went on the patio and I've been working on this stupid current events presentation that I need to present tomorrow in um, my community public health class. I have had all quarter to work on it, but it's just been something that I have not wanted anything to do with. So I waited till last minute. I present tomorrow. Um, I have one slide left, but I'm just so done with it that I'm gonna just finish it tomorrow and submit it. It's literally four slides, but I just have been making it way too hard on myself because I'm really picky when I have to put it in like a present presentation form. So, yeah. Anyways, for all you Marvel fans, Loki is out and Josh and I are really excited and eager to watch the first episode. So we're gonna watch that tonight before we go to bed. But we are gonna have dessert real quick and we are going to make some of those more things that we found at Costco. And then we'll go to bed. So just want to update you guys because I went MIA. I, was, I did not know I was out there for that long. Why didn't you stop me? You should have been like, babe, it's getting late. Happy Thursday, everyone. It is 3.20 right now. I've been really MIA today because I had to wake up early, finish my project, then go to class and present my project, which my teacher loved my topic, which was pretty cool. She seemed really into it and it kind of matched some of the topics we've gone over in the last couple days or a couple weeks. Um, got that over with. Then I showered and I started freaking out over my TV test because it was really red and I was like, what if it's gonna be false positive, blah, blah, blah. Got into my head, then I had to take an exam at 12.30. Didn't do great on it, but whatever. I have a good grade in the class, so it's not gonna affect me. And then I had to rush over to King Supers at their little clinic where I got my TB test and get it read so I can get these papers in because right now, now that I'm home, I'm about to sit down outside on the patio and I have to print out and sign so many papers, re-upload them so that I can submit them into my clinical exchange, which is 
I'm pretty sure we all use it as nursing students, but it's for clinical so they can see like our vaccinations, um, proof of the TB tests, flu stuff, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and like just signing papers like that the hospital's like um, requesting. Um, so yeah, I have to do that. Um, they're not due till Monday, but I wanna get them out of the way today. And then I have 20 NCLEX practice questions to do. <gasps> oh, that was cute. Marvel just like rubbed against my camera. Oh, you just want love it. So mommy's ignoring you. Come here. And um, what do you want? You need to go and talk. Anyways, gross. yeah, that's the plan. I don't know what I left off on, but crazy. We might go to the pool too. It's like 95 degrees out here in Colorado, so it's kind of windy though. It's getting a little windy out there, but who knows? Probably wants to just finish my shit and lay on the couch for the rest of the day. Maybe binge watch some Stranger Things, Harry Potter. Yuck. Welcome to my life. I got something very exciting while I was doing my stuff. I'm not done yet, but expect a haul very, very soon and a code. Okay, so my class stuff is on hold for my capstone stuff that I was filling out um, because my teacher needs to give me our course name and number because we haven't got our syllabi yet. So I don't know what it is yet. So I'm gonna wait for her to send that and then I'll finish that. So I'll either finish that today, tomorrow, this weekend. Um, but pretty much everything signed. I just need that signed and then I can um, scan everything and then upload everything and then submit it because I want to do it all at once. Um, so now I'm taking a break. We're cleaning up the kitchen because we're gonna cook dinner in a little bit and it's kind of messy in here. I got a string. I never ever would have thought. I'm also going to cut some of the fruit. Yeah, it looks dirty. Cut some of the fruit that we got and prep that so it's ready for like the weekend and next week. And then we will cook dinner a little bit. I still have 20 NCLEX questions I need to do, but we're gonna take a break. These are the fruits of the week. So like I said, we have mango and pineapple in this one. And then we did some watermelon this week. We wanted a break from like strawberries and blueberries and raspberries. We feel like we always got those. They're really repetitive. We ate them the most in the winter too. So these are like such good finds. Um, these are just some of our favorite fruits that we like to snack on in the summer. And we were at Costco, so we just binged a little bit, but very excited. All right, now that we are done prepping our fruit and everything else and cleaning and all of that stuff, we are gonna go ahead and make dinner. It's about 6.26 right now, and tonight we are cooking a Green Chef meal. Tonight we are making their white and chi or chicken and white bean soup. Um, last night we had their, um, do you remember what it was called? 
It was like, oh, it was so good. It had couscous in it, a kale salad with like the best dressing ever um, with some pork meatballs. It was so good. Um, but yeah, so tonight we're making their chicken and white bean soup because we're kind of trying to have a little cozy summer night over here. Um, so the cook time for this is gonna be 30 minutes. It serves two people and there's 980 calories in here. Um, but yeah, all the items came pre-packed um, and I'll tell you guys more about it as we cook. But we are gonna go ahead and start cooking now. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. They have dishes for a variety of lifestyles including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto, and they contain a variety of different organic ingredients. All the ingredients are hand-picked and delivered right to your door. They also come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepared. Being a full-time nursing student, working, and having a boyfriend who's a full-time realtor, busy nights can obviously get the best of us. But one thing that Green Chef offers by having fast, ready-to-go meals is that it saves us a lot of time because it makes cooking easy with dinner options that work around our lifestyle and not the other way around. And it gives us a healthier option than wanting to order in or go buy fast food, which honestly we're guilty of a decent amount of the time. We're also guilty of getting really bored with recipes and losing ideas and creativity when it comes to cooking in the kitchen. So with Green Chef, it's easy to eat well and discover new recipes every week. The second I graduate nursing school, I see Green Chef becoming a full-time thing for us, especially my first year, as that's such a big transitioning year for me. And if you guys are going to be in the same boat or are interested in trying out Green Chef, I will leave my code right here on the screen. It's just greenchef.us slash 90 Ashley Taylor. With my code, you can get $90 off across four boxes, including free shipping on your first box. I will also leave everything else linked down below that you guys need to know, but could not recommend this company more, and I'm so excited to hear if you guys try it and love it as much as we do. All right, so that meal was 10 out of 10. Josh and I both are obsessed with it. It was so good, but I will, like I said before, leave um, my code and everything on the screen here and down below if you guys are interested in trying Green Chef. I highly recommend, it's so freaking good. Um, but yeah, it's just 90, Ashley Taylor, you get $90 off, all of that good stuff. So I'll link everything down below that you guys need to know about that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some laundry and then eventually make some s'mores and then also I need to sit down and do 20 NCLEX questions. Good morning, afternoon, it's Friday. Um, this morning we woke up and we had to take Josh in to, or we had to take Josh to take his car in. Um, we got back and then I finished up some laundry and then I had to get on a call with one of my best friends who just submitted one of her first nursing school applications. I'm so freaking excited for her. Huge moment for her, she's been working her literal ass off. For the last two years trying to get her crap together so she can finally apply and she's finally got to that moment i just remember when i got there and it just makes me so emotional i miss that like excited feeling of it all and i'm just i'm so excited and i'm so proud of her it just makes my heart so happy um i also am trying to get crap done because i have so many comments on my last vlog the like week in life and i also have a ton of comments on my instagram picture that i posted and I have a ton, I have like 30 Instagram DMs right now and I'm like trying so hard to get my crap together so that I can actually put time to actually, I mean like, in like responding to them and like, and like not rushing a response. Like I actually wanna like enjoy my conversations with you guys and stuff so I don't wanna have to like sit there and rush through everything just to like it, just to like it. So I'm trying to get all my stuff done so that I can go to the pool the rest of the day and just respond to you guys. I'm just so over the moon happy like also we hit 54.4k last night which i'm like i think it was last night i don't really watch my follower account that much because i feel like i'm just like really busy and like when i notice i do and i'm just like i feel like i don't say thank you enough but i wanted to say thank you to you guys now i cannot believe we have 54.4k i never in a million years thought my youtube channel would ever hit that much and i'm just like so smitten and i'm just so grateful for every single one of you um, yeah, I'm just so happy and I'm also just so grateful on the amount of support I've got from you guys from my OB capstone announcement Obviously that was a huge dream of mine just in I don't know March. I was talking about how much I wanted that I just like I Can't believe it. It's insane. So I'm really grateful and thankful to all of your guys's kind words um, Hopefully today and tomorrow I can spend some time um, Responding to you guys. I'm just very happy right now but 
It is 1.15. I need to finish one of my projects. Basically, I have to put two bullet points into a PowerPoint for one, and then the other one I have to finish two bullet points as well, um, which hopefully should only take me like uh, up until two, and then hopefully around two, we can grab some study materials and go down to the pool and just relax for a little bit. Um, but yeah, very chill Friday. Josh and I also have our very first movie date at the movie theater tonight, which if you guys are OGs, you know that that is literally our favorite thing to do for dates. We are big movie gurus. We we literally, I feel like there's not, there's not a lot of movies that we haven't seen at this point. It's kind of pathetic. We're seeing Conjuring 2. I mean, no, not Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 3, which I'm really excited because fun fact, Conjuring 2 was the first movie that Josh and I ever saw together on a date, so kind of exciting um but yeah very chill day very exciting date night i'm so excited i'll vlog i'll vlog hopefully up until the end of the night i usually end it so early on fridays but i'm in such a good mood i'm feeling so positive and i just kind of want to keep the flow going so hopefully we can have a really great rest of the day and again thank you so much for all your kindness comments and support i cannot believe we're at 54k it's insane I'm so happy I'm done with my projects now all I have left before I'm actually done with my freaking second to last quarter of nursing school is I have an exam on Monday and I present on Monday and I have class on Monday and then that's it and then next Thursday I just scheduled my community health HESI if I'm feeling good I'll bump it up sooner but I always schedule it for like the very last day and time that you can possibly take it because I think I like one part of me wants to be like I just want to get this done I want to end sooner I want to like just be done with it but the other part of me is like I want to take advantage of any extra hour I can get to study so I can get the best grade that I possibly can so that's what I do but when I'm feeling good and I'm like I cannot study any more than this I bump it up or I'll just take it like on demand because it gives you that option so just scheduled that everything's all good um it's almost 2 30 i'm waiting for josh's idiot ass to come home he's supposed to be golfing it always runs slow it always it's always going so slow babe i'm like mm -hmm, okay so i'm waiting for him and then when he gets here we're gonna make lunch and go to the pool so i'm going to do some laundry i have some stuff in the washer and stuff in the dryer so i'm going to fold and throw what's in the wash and the dryer um, and hopefully by then he will be home. But yes, I'm so excited to be almost done. All right, this is that Hello Summer wine sampler that you can get from Costco. We already opened one wine, but you pop through. This We did this one already, but it's red and we were about to go to the pool and it was really hot the other day, so we wanted another one. So we, we were hoping one was gonna be a white, which it was. That was actually rosé and it was so good. Now we're gonna do another. This one? Yeah. Oh yeah, rosé again. Do you want white or are you getting a rosé? This is good. Hopefully it's as good as the last one. 